Hi, this is Jim Conner from the Awareness Foundation for OCD, and I had posted a video blog on walking and how it helps anxiety. And you know, I would walk down a street like this near my house, and um, it would really help. But you know, getting to be able to walk down a street like this for me was not easy because OCD um, for me created this symptom of a fear of germs and contamination. Very common with OCD. And for me, it was germs on the ground. It's all magical thinking, as we call it, but for me it was germs on the ground. You know, what I was stepping in. And you know, what was, it? What was that? What, and I'll show you. And the way to break that, the solution to break that, and is ERP exposure ritual prevention or exposure response prevention and I've been doing it for almost 30 years and it works it does work it is the primary solution to break OCD you have to do it daily you have to do it many times and practice many times uh, many many times and the brain actually does habituate pretty quickly and it does get easier and then it becomes just kind of a nuisance or it goes away and um, it was for me it was I was able to walk down my street here so I'm going to show you a little bit of how that worked okay here we go so I would take a walk I would start walking like this and I would take a few steps like this down the street you know, as I'm walking and then I would feel oops there's something that I stepped on and I would look back and I would see on the ground there I would see, you know, some there's some tar stuff there, there's some dirt stuff there, there's some brown spots, there's some dark spots in the cement. And I would try to force myself, I would try to force myself to think that's nothing. But see what OCD does is it puts meaning to meaningless things. So you know, whether I go back or not and check that was the whole, you know, challenge. So what I used to do is I would used to go back. I would go back and I would check something like this. You can get in on this. I would check something like that. Now that looks just like some kind of thing in the cement that's nothing you know that's not that's not dog poop or anything like that and even if it was it wouldn't hurt me nothing's gonna hurt you nothing okay it just does the world just doesn't work like that and I'll show you the proof in a, in a second later in the video so then I would just say okay that's nothing then I would walk on continue to walk on and I know that people with OCD can relate with this a lot. I take a few more steps and my mind would go, the OCD mind would go, not my mind, the OCD medical condition would say, wait a minute, no, that was something. Then I would go back and I would check in again. And this would take hours of just a few steps to get down a street, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and try it in a car. You know, you feel you run over a bump, you go back and forth and back and forth and you drive around and you drive around. I mean, I spent four hours just on, on maybe a half a block going back and forth and back and forth. That's the OCD. That's the medical condition of OCD. You got to remember, that's the medical condition. It's not you. You are not the OCD. That's very important. Here is how you break it. You got to live with the uncertainty. So here's how you break it. After you get some cognitive behavior therapy from your therapist, and what that just does is it disconfirms your fear. That's what cognitive behavior therapy basically is. So your therapist works with you on that. And my therapist told me all about, you know, disconfirming my fears about germs and so forth. And then we got into ERP of what I should do exposure ritual prevention and I had to draw a line in the sand and say I am just going to walk and not look back no matter what 
I'm going to live with the uncertainty. So I would start walking. I would take a walk, and usually at night, to make it even worse, because <laughs> I, mean, I couldn't see things. So I would walk like this, and just keep walking, and not look down. And I usually walk a little faster than this. But I would walk. And even right now, I felt something. Let me just stop. I felt something on my under my foot, like a little bump or something. But I'm not going to look back, no matter what. You really have to be steadfast on this. In other words, no matter what, you are not going to look back. Because getting better is the higher good. It's the higher good, and you know this is the way you break OCD. So I'm not looking back, no matter what. I'm going to trust. Trust is it. And I'm going to keep walking. Just going to keep walking. Because I know this is how you get better. Okay. Another little trick, and it's not so much of a trick, but it's something that's suggested by Jeffrey Schwartz, is some distraction. I have an iPhone, and I would, what I would do, anything that you can put in, your, you know, an iPod, anything, I would put uh, some music in my ear, or I would put an a audio book in my ear, or I would call someone, but I wouldn't talk to them about the OCD. I would talk to them more about... Um, about their life. I want to hear about their life. And just talk to them about conversational stuff. And that shifts the brain a little bit. Even cars coming, as a car is coming right now, that can distract you. But you just keep going, no matter what. You just keep going. You just keep walking. So that distraction would happen, and then eventually, you get home. You get home. And what happens when you get home? Let me show you. Let me tell you about it. So, what happens is you keep walking and then you eventually you get home. This is our home. And what happens? What do you feel like? Well, for me, the anxiety usually would spike. Almost always would spike. But it would get to different levels. But at the beginning, it really went up. You know, it went up high. But it would naturally come down if you just feel the feelings, which I heard 30 years ago and I'm hearing to, you know, 30 years later. Just feel the feelings. Just be with it. And it would naturally, naturally come down. This is a natural process of the energy system of your body. It will naturally come down if you let it, if you don't fight it. And this ERP actually changes the brain chemistry of, the, of your brain. It changes the neural pathways, is what I've heard. Now, I'm not a researcher, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a therapist. You know, I'm just a guy that has OCD, that has some experience with recovery, and I'm still working on it daily. I do ERP every day. I do this walking thing every day. And the anxiety, you know, spikes are now very, very low, very low when I get done with it. I mean, almost, I can't even feel it. I just take a walk, and it's, it, I don't look back, and it's, it's, it's just a nuisance. So it does work. It absolutely works. And then you apply it to everything else you do that you're fearful of. So when you get home, anxiety you know, spikes, and you feel the feelings. And they will go away. They will go away. They will calm down. I promise you. That's how it works. And then you go in, you have some soup. <laughs> that's what that's what, you know, I always do is have some soup. Okay, thanks a lot.